In this video, we detail what we do in our practice to decrease the risk of wrong side blocks. A wrong side block immediately triggers root cause analysis, quality assurance, and risk management committee meetings. It may require reporting to the State Department of Health and lead to disciplinary action or even a license revocation in the case of repetitive error. More importantly, wrong side blocks may lead to surgery on the wrong side, undesirable outcomes, and indefensible medical legal consequences. And in spite of all this, wrong side nerve blocks continue to be one of the most dreaded complications of nerve blocks. A few years ago in my practice in New York, I was involved in a block on the wrong side incident. I remember the day like it was yesterday. I was called to the operating room to assist the trainee with an interscalian block. And as I entered the operating room, all checklists, patient's preparation, prepping and draping had already been done. And I assumed that it was all correct. As we finished with the nerve block procedure, I took the drapes off and I noticed to my dismay that the arm on the side of which we performed the block had a blood pressure cuff and an IV. In a split second, I came out in a cold sweat because it meant that in spite of all the checklists, the team prepped the wrong side and we had performed the block on the wrong side. Needless to say, in addition to the unnecessary nerve block procedure, this created an inconvenience and risk for the patient, cancellation of the surgery, and an administrative nightmare for everyone involved. I thought about this for days, and I kept rewinding the film, trying to work out what we could do to prevent this from happening. What could we do to grab attention, to flag up a strong signal as a reminder to perform the one final last timeout or checklist before the needle goes in. And here's what we do at Nysora. We use a physical barrier, a stop sticker. The stop sign is a barrier to ultrasound transmission and prevents the acquisition of ultrasound images. Importantly, it reminds the team to perform that one last point of care confirmation of the patient's surgery and laterality. The stop sticker is then removed and only then the ultrasound images can be obtained. The stop sticker is then placed visibly on the drapes so the entire team knows throughout the procedure that the timeout and the checklist were implemented. Now, while we know the value of checklists to reduce errors in the medical world, their effectiveness depends on the conscious attention of the practitioners. With so many checklists to be completed on the patient's journey to the operating theater, the risk is that they become routine. And a checklist fatigue can lead to situations where providers forget to execute a checklist at the time when it matters the most, at the point of care, immediately prior to the needle entry into the skin. Measures to reinforce checklists at the point of care vary considerably from institution to institution. One example is the restricted needle technique used at HSS where, per protocol, the nurses only provide the needle to the practitioner after the site verification has been confirmed and agreed. Now, the problem with this is that the nurses report frustration with yet another responsibility and the anesthesia providers may resent the loss of their autonomy if the block needles are removed from the anesthesia cart and had to be given by nurses. But no generally accepted standards exist, and despite the checklists, the blocks on the wrong side still occur. So, how do we make sure that the critical one last checklist is given the full attention it deserves? I believe that the answer lies in some sort of, of a physical barrier that prevents the use of ultrasound machine until the point of care checklist is done. Nysora collaborated with the industry to develop the first probe cover specifically developed for ultrasound-guided peripheral nerve blocks. In our practice of nerve blocks at Nysora, we have adopted ultrasound probe covers that feature an easy-to-remove sticker that bears the message, stop before your block. The sticker presents an actual physical barrier that must be removed before the ultrasound can be used to acquire images. This is a strong visual reminder to do that crucial one last time checklist a timeout to be sure that we have the correct patient procedure and laterality before the needle goes into the patient. But let us know whether a block on the wrong side in your practice ever occurred and what do you do in your practice to prevent the wrong side nerve blocks. And if you do like our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe so the more people can get to see those videos too. Thanks for watching.